Welcome back to Inside Cajun Nation. George Faust here. Jacardi Carter is right there. He's the Northside Viking head football coach. Coach, I'm going to start here because obviously uh, you were the head coach at LCA for a while. You guys had a lot of success. Uh, you were able to kind of win state championships and not kind of, you did it. <laughs> and then and then you, you take a, take a, uh, a, an assistant job at Northside, trying to kind of get building things back. Now you're the head coach. Is it is it a different role being the head coach now? Uh, do you have to get re reacquainted with you know what you say goes type of uh, mentality? <laughs> so um, last year working with Coach Simmons, he definitely respected me because he he was a coach um, sure. when I was a player at Northside. Okay. So working with him, it wasn't it wasn't really it wasn't bad at all. He was um, very respectful respectable and he respected what I did coming into it so he was he was pretty much like hands off when it came to defense like hey man <laughs> do what Go you ahead. do work, work right. the magic type right. stuff right. Right. so it wasn't really uh I didn't I never felt slighted in my role I never felt sure. like it was like I, I felt I felt comfortable in that role yeah. but I also feel a little bit more comfortable in this role as well absolutely and so now you kind of uh can set out uh, what you want to do offensively and defensively and kind of kind of oversee both and and I'm curious because you know for for the longest obviously Northside ha has a rich football tradition they there it's there in 05 you know I covered uh Keelan and those boys uh, and coach Derwin when they got had, had a chance to get to the state championship that was that was uh quite the quite the uh, journey and then John Curtis took them out uh, uh but John Curtis takes out a lot of teams <laughs> but 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 obviously there, there's some tradition there that you're trying to regain and recapture uh can you talk a little bit about what you guys are doing to kind of make that happen uh as you move here move forward here in 23 um so one thing majorly that we're doing is uh baseball has a fundraiser where we're doing an alumni softball game <laughs> so to get the alumni and community more involved because Northside has always been a community school and the community uh involvement has been big um you come to a game or back then when you come to a game it was a cookout it was a you was having a, you were having a yeah, blast yeah. um for lack of better terms it was a block party um good clean block party sure um and a lot of excitement around Northside. and so part of bringing that back as well is bringing some of the coaches back who had some success wearing the red and black so mm -hmm. we kind of we really striving to revive the side um that's kind of hashtag the, the, a little yeah, slow yeah, that we want to go with yeah. Uh, in the season, and that that's that's what we're that's what yeah. we're shooting for. Absolutely, and so you play in a in a district that's one of the uh, the most uh, competitive in the state, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, just when you when you have that, you really can't take a take a week off. You know, right. it, it, have, have you been able to stress that to the to the guys that I mean, maybe not so far yet, but maybe it's coming uh, at some point. You're going to say, look, there, there's no time to to worry about. You know, Saturday morning we got to move to turn the page. Right. Whatever happened Friday night, we're gonna move on because uh, we got we got another big big game coming. Um, that's that's kind of been the the mindset and our approach uh, from the beginning. Um, knowing our district is tough, we had the three of the top four teams in select came right. from our district. <laughs> uh, we had Turlings playing LCA in the semifinals. LCA yeah. goes on to the finals against STM, who blew out their competition to <laughs> right. get there. So. It, and that was a, a heavyweight fight in the championship between uh, STM and LC. Correct. Not to mention, North Vermillion made it to either the semis or the quarters right. um, in the non-select. I'm sorry, I wasn't following that one too closely, but that's <laughs> right. not no, the I get it. I get so, it. Um, but yeah, they, they they did pretty pretty good as well. So yeah, every week it's a it's pretty much a juggernaut of a schedule, um, and then. Some crazy lunatic scheduled Catholic of Baton Rouge. What? <laughs> I don't know. Is What's that the you? You did that? What's the matter with you? <laughs> did you really do yes, that? I did. Yeah, so, so going into the district, yeah. I felt like um, it would be a way to gauge ourselves and gauge yeah. where we are. Because that, that's, that's, that's definitely going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that there or here? It's going to be over there. It's going to yeah. be over there. So you got to get on the road, head over to Catholic, and, and take care of that. Hey, look, you know what? That, that's the same. A lot of teams do that. You know, they, they play tough non-district schedule. I mean, your district schedule's something to be said for. But, but you know, you play a schedule that's going to beef you up and test you Correct. because when you get to the postseason, 
that's you you don't have any time to 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 think about it right i mean you have to win in the postseason and if you're battle tested it doesn't matter where you get in it you you, you got a chance to shock some people uh because the ball bounce is funny this this is football uh, you are <laughs> correct about that so uh what, what's what's something that you've kind of learned about yourself over the years with, with regards to being a head coach kind of you know going through the process of what you had to go through at lca and then uh now you're now you're back at the top as a head coach and what what, what, what do you learn about yourself when you when you have to uh, kind of uh refocus and and make a make a new position for yourself um just Routine, uh, staying in the same routine. Mm. So yeah. even after everything happened at LCA, I was still waking up, working out at 5 a.m. You know, just staying into that same routine, praying, fasting, doing all that same stuff, and <laughs> studying, um, trying to create tapes. You know, because it was we, I learned a lot about myself in that season at LCA. Yeah. I learned that I was so I was very very passionate about coaching. The one thing that I said. Growing up, I, man, I don't want to be a coach. Nah, that's too easy. No, nah, no, nah, that's just not it. Right. But now, I, now that I'm into the role and I, I've kind of stepped into it, and now I'm owning it. Yeah. Um, I, I get to, I get to go out and coach every day. Like, sure. um, I, I accepted a role as the assistant baseball coach. So now we do football workouts, then baseball workouts, but. I still feel like I'm not even working. Um, yeah. I'm that, and you know what? That's the best way to be. If you if you can do a job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life, yeah, right? Exactly. That's that's what they say. Mm-hmm. So, well, Jacardi, thanks so much for coming in, man. I appreciate it, and uh, look forward to this year. Who y'all have in the jamboree? Lafayette High. Lafayette High. So uh, it'll be uh, Northside and Lafayette, and that'll be at the Kiwanis Jamboree. Yes. Sir. Is that a Thursday or the Friday? August twenty fifth. Funny. Twenty fifth. That's, that's my birthday. There, your birthday. So <laughs> you're looking for a win there on your birthday. Uh, well, that's cool. We look forward to uh, covering you guys this year, and uh, we look forward to the the Vikings uh, climbing that mountain back to the top, and uh, we'll we'll be along for the journey. Yes, sir. All right, Jacardi Carter, the head coach at Northside for the Vikings, and uh, we appreciate you sticking with us and watching Inside Cajun Nation. That's going to do it for this edition of Inside Cajun Nation. We'll see you next time right here on Inside Cajun Nation.